Dear viewers, I want to show you how you can import GitHub model to save 2016 so that you can be able to design your slab. I will start by running my analysis. This is eTabs 18. So I've run my analysis and I just uh, do a concrete check to make sure that this is my final. So everything has passed. I will go to file, export. I will export in form of Save V12. Uh, file export story as save V12. So I will have to select the story which has the slab which I need to design, which is story one in this case. I want to export flow loads only. I will select the load combination. If you don't select here, you will have to edit the load cases and the load combination because you will not import any load cases. So you have to make sure you select all and also load combination. You can make sure you select all and then click OK. So I will save this one as my slab save twenty sixteen. I'm saving in a folder called a new job. So I will close this one. Uh, yes, save. I will open save twenty sixteen. Okay. So you can go to file and import. I will import save f2k file. This is my file, slab save 2016. Open. So if I can show you the preview, you can see we have been able to import the slab and the general element, the the, the beam layout and the column layout in save. So I'll go to edit. You can add or modify uh, grids, so I will not need to do that. We can add and modify a river. I can just use uh, this one. So no problem, I will cancel. Then we will add design strips. Add design strip because without design, design strip, you will not be able to see the rivers. So I will add design strip in the x direction, out of coordinate global. So include middle strip. Okay, so you can see these design strips are running this way. I will add design strip in the y direction. Okay, 
So you can see I have those events which run in the right direction and along the x direction. So you can go to view. So I'll not need to do anything here. Define materials. You can change your materials here. I'll define new material. Uh, slab properties. If I just double click here in my slab, you can see I'm having a slab of six inches, which is the name I gave it. Other properties are like that geometry, the load, I have a live load of 83 pounds per foot square. I have a, that is the dead load. I have so this one is including the self weight of the slab. Then this one is my live load 25, and this one here is my flow load, which is about 40 pounds per feet square. Then design. You can change the cover preference, or you can use um the defaults. So I will just click OK. Then OK. You can change here the other column properties, tendons. You can, if you did not import load combination or load pattern, you can add them here. So I have all the load combinations and load pattern. So I not need to edit again here. You can draw the slab, etc, columns, if you do not import the slab. So I will just need to um, come here. I will run my design because I don't need to change anything. I will save it as safe slab. 2016. So you can see um, my deformed ship. Uh, here you have the ultimate maximum deflection and minimal deflection. And Let's uh, view the undeformed ship, okay, the loads. So maybe um, live load, show load value, okay. This is the live load. Display. So we can run. Um, Run detailing, then OK. So you can see down here, it is doing detailing. So you can see our drawings, um, slab views. River schedules, drawing sheets, so here is our bottom river, which is uh, perfect because you can see this one is very safe because I think that size of uh, 4 inches is okay. Many people would use that for default. So I will use a size of four, hashtag four.
then you can just save these drawings. So this one is the bottom. You can check the top bar. So this one is the top bar clamp. You can just right click and export view. Export in form of DXF or DWG directory. So So that's how you can uh, import GitHub model in SIF and be able to design your slab and generate the drawing. So the directory that have come uh, automatically, I'll just do. I'll just start export. Now it will be exported in form of DXF. Is ready. I will export the bottom viber. Done. Then bottom viber. And I will just again export view. Export. Then done. Now you can see my beams. Um, my beams river have also been uh, designed here in SIF. But I would prefer to uh, design them in in CSI detailing. So I can just come here and change the river rule. And make sure that the maximum is eight. Make sure it's six. And also six. Start up three. Start up a uh, maximum four. Smallest, I can use five. Then, okay. Unlock the model. And then, so you can see, I've been able to get the detailing of both slab and beams in CSI safe. If you like this video and if you want to see more videos like this, please consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you in my next video. Thank you.